Hello everyone, this is John back again with another review. This time I'm doing this Cheetos Mac and Cheese Cheesy Jalapeno. If you saw my last review, I tried the Mac and Cheetos uh, regular flavor. And this is the second flavor they have out of three. Um, cheesy Jalapeno, as you can see here. I think in my mind it's a little bit more yellow and less orangey than the original and I don't know if you could see anything in there but there are some like green specks not a whole bunch but you can see them a couple of them anyway it has a little bit of a smokier uh, smell to it um, from the jalapenos if I look in the ingredients there's cheddar, romano, monterey, parmesan, and blue cheeses. That's interesting. And jalapeno pepper. Asterisk. And the asterisk says dried. You know, like dried jalapeno usually has a little bit of a smokier uh, flavor to it. Um, in fact, I think usually when you dry jalapeno, um, they're referred to as chipotle peppers. So this could be called... Uh, Cheetos cheesy chipotle but then they'd probably have to color it more like a maroon dark red kind of color which would clash with their flame and hot bright red so they went with the green jalapeno but it's not a fresh jalapeno it's a dried jalapeno um, the only thing I changed cooking this one over the other one was uh, less water in the pot um, because this is a small, smaller portion. This is still technically two and a half servings. Um, but it, the box isn't huge. It's not like a family size box. And so I was able to use a small, small pan with less water and boil it for the same amount of time. Added the butter. It says you can use margarine, but don't use margarine. Never use margarine for anything. Um, and then this time, instead of pouring the milk and the powder together in the pot, I pour them in a separate bowl and use my mini whisk to bring it together. And as you can see, no, none of those clumps that I had last time. If you don't have a mini whisk in your fridge, you need to get, or not your fridge, in your kitchen, you need to get one. Uh, I have two mini whisks, and they're great. Just for, like, mixing a little bit of something together. A little sauce, a little homemade dressing or something for a salad a mini whisk is a must for your kitchen I'm telling you uh, I had one issue when making this and it's my own fault when um, I went to boil the water I usually put a lid on the pot when I'm trying to get the water to come to a boil with nothing in it uh, I think that's just like it traps the heat in, it helps it get to that boiling temperature quicker. At least that's how it works in my mind. Uh, so I saw it boiling and I went to, I had the box of noodles, I was going to lift it up and pour the noodles in. And of course I didn't really think about how hot the lid was going to be. So immediately I like flung the lid to my side and I, I was going to pour kind of like jostled the pour and some noodles got around the pot instead of in the pot so I had to get some tongs and pick up the noodles from the inside of my uh, range grates put them back in the pot uh, finger sign no burning the lid is fine didn't break or anything so all in all nothing terrible happened but a little snafu Anyway, let's go ahead and try this out. The Cheetos Cheesy Jalapeno. And again, I did taste some of the cheesiness out of this. And it does taste like Jalapeno Cheetos. It is a much different cheese profile than the original. I think the original is like all just like American cheddar orangey cheese 
this one has a blend of different cheeses in it. So even if you took away the smoky jalapeno spiciness of this, the cheese itself would taste slightly different. All in all, it's like, it's a less cheesy flavor. Still, very cheesy, because the original was just really, really cheesy. But I think they brought down that cheddary cheesy flavor to uh, more emphasize the spicy, smoky uh, jalapeno flavor. It still has that squeaky pasta sound to it. Uh, like, I like to call that wet audible pasta. That's a reference to something. Don't look it up. It's not uh, not overly spicy. It's a subtle, smoky heat. I do like this one. It's still got a good, good bit of cheesiness. It's got a really like low to mid range amount of heat. There you go. And the old Mac and Cheetos. Not Mac and Cheetos. I said that again. That's the second. The second review in a row I've called this Mac and Cheetos. But no, that is something that used to be a burger. These are the Cheetos Mac and Cheese Cheesy Jalapeno. Made with authentic cheesiness. I think I like the original a little bit better than this one, just because it was really super cheesy and intensely cheesy. This one's fine. I, I still like this one. Um, if you like the jalapeno flavored Cheetos, these are going to be right up your alley. Again, it says in the bottom of this thing to try using uh, some real Cheetos on top as a topping. Which, uh, I think that would be a great idea. Get a little bit of crunch in there. Maybe even soak up some of like this like leftover cheese that's in there as well. I think that was good. I think it's around a 7.2 out of 10 type of dish right there. Easy to make at home. Just need water, milk, and butter. And uh, that's it for this one. We will see you coming up with a third one, Flaming Hot, soon. Bye.